Hello, I am Todd Cotton, the owner of the King's Gun Center, and this is King's Gun Center TV. And we get lots of questions on our social media and on our YouTube channel about the proper way for people to rack guns, especially those with arthritis or weak hands. Uh, this is spawned from a question we received just a couple days ago on one of the last videos we did. So we want to talk a little bit about the different ways you can rack a semi-automatic pistol. This is, doesn't include revolvers or, or anything like that. This is a simple Smith & Wesson SDVE. We're using this for simplicity today because it's just a simple one to, to, uh, to rack and to use. First of all, I want to talk about three different ways to rack a firearm. And it's, it's, it's difficult sometimes when you own the range and you see some of the ways people do rack the firearm. But first of all, what we don't want to do ever when we rack a firearm, and this is a classic one, and we're down range here, and we do have an empty chamber and no magazine in this gun. What we want to do is we want to not fall into the habit that you might see in the media or that you might see in television, is where people bring the gun straight up in the air and rack it like this with a pinch. Okay? When, 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 when you rack it with a pinch like this, first of all, there's no threat above you. There's nothing you need to shoot. There's no 747s you gotta shoot down from the sky. So there's nothing up here. So whenever you're racking a gun, you always have to remember one thing. Keep that muzzle down range. Always keep it down range. So if you're shooting tactically, and you're coming up and you're shooting, and you have to do a new mag change, you can still be pointing down range when you reach over and do a, a top grab like this and rack and ground it. The whole time, my, my muzzle never left the target down there. And we know that if it is a, a, a negligent discharge of the weapon, the bullet's still gonna go down range. A lot of times you will see people uh, trying to do a pinch like this and pulling back when it's out here. And that's fine, but you're still not on target. It's very difficult to keep on target when you do a pinch and a turn on your gun like this. So we find that small motions coming over the top, grabbing and going like this is the quickest and it keeps you right on target all the time. Remember to keep your fingers away from the, the, the breech and come behind and grab the slide and go and let go. Never ease it back forward because you need this bullet to go all the way in the battery when you're doing it. Now, for people that have uh, difficulty racking a slide, especially with the smaller guns, we find that the smaller guns can be more difficult because it's a tighter, smaller spring. With that being said, people that have a hard time grabbing the gun Here's what we ask of them. First of all, you always have to make sure that you're pointing down range. So no matter which way you're doing this, the gun should stay pointing down range. So when you're shooting, boom, 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 and you need to rack the gun and you can't quite do it, the closer you bring it to your body, the easier it's gonna to be to rack the gun. Now, if you bring it in your body here, you'll turn your body just a little bit so you're still pointing down range. Now you can grab it up close to your body and now you have the leverage on your arms. You're just bringing your arms together like this. So you just bring your arms together, it makes it a lot easier. If you are very weak and you, can, and you have a hard time pulling this hand this way, what we have found is you just hold the top. You put your hand here and you push down. You push down with your hand. Because it's a lot easier to push away from somebody than it is to pull them into your body. So you want to be able to push down on that. And remember, anything you do, you got to make sure that you keep your, your thumb by the slide stop so in case you do have to lock it open, you can do it that way. Remember, the closer to your body you get, the harder it is to do a pinch. So you just want to reach over the top with your fingers, use the, the, the meat of your hand here and your fingertips to pull it back, and then let go, and then you're back up on target again. So remember, the whole time you're going to say pointing down range, and you put your hands over the top and you do that. We find that's the best way to do it. Now you can still do a pinch, but it's very difficult to stay on target when you're doing that. And it, it, it's, 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 it's way too many hand motions in order to do it correctly and your gun moves. So whatever you do, make sure that you always do keep your gun pointing down range. Don't be pointing it up, uh, up into the ceiling to rack the gun because that just makes all kinds of problems for people and neighbors. And, and you want to make sure you know where every bullet goes down range. And we hope that if you do have any other questions, just leave it here on our Facebook page or on our YouTube channel. We'll do the best to try and answer those for you. We are not going to try to tell you this is the only way to do it, but whatever is most comfortable for you. And we just hope that you keep it safe and keep it pointing downrange.
You can subscribe to our channel right here or you can see our other videos right here. And thank you for watching King's Gun Center TV.